Inserting a background into Google Slides is a fairly straightforward process. You will notice that there is a button right here that says background. However, it is important to note that if you have a text box selected, you don't see that word background. Additionally, if, you're, if you have something else selected on your slide, such as a shape or an image of some sort, again, that background word is not visible. That button is not there. So if you don't see the word background, what you want to do is click somewhere outside of the slide or on an empty space in the slide in some place. Then you'll see the word background. Click on the word background and you're going to get some options. So to begin with, you could choose a color. So we could choose to do this blue color and the entire background becomes blue. Heading back up to background again, you could also choose to do a gradient. So we were choosing a solid color. We can also choose a gradient. So there are a lot of options for creativity, simply choosing the colors here. The other option is to choose an image. If you choose an image, you'll see that you could upload from your device. You could use the camera to take a picture of something. You could bring something in with its URL, use something from Google Photos, use something from Google Drive, or even do a Google image search. So you can see here, if I select a picture of a beach and hit insert, now that has become the background of the slide. Backgrounds are not movable without going up and changing them here. So it's impossible for students to accidentally click and drag them like you can with a text box or with an image. Those are drag and droppable. However, images are locked in place.